The Rutherford model is a model of the atom devised by Ernest Rutherford. Rutherford directed the famous Geiger Marsden experiment in 1909 which suggested, upon Rutherford's 1911 analysis, that J. J. Thomson's so-called plum pudding model of the atom was incorrect. Rutherford's new model for the atom, based on the experimental results, contained the new features of a relatively high central charge concentrated into a very small volume in comparison to the rest of the atom and with this central volume also containing the bulk of the atomic mass of the atom. This region would be known as the nucleus of the atom. Experimental basis for the model Rutherford overturned Thomson's model in 1911 with his well-known gold foil experiment in which he demonstrated that the atom has a tiny, heavy nucleus. Rutherford designed an experiment to use the alpha particles emitted by a radioactive element as probes to the unseen world of atomic structure. If Thomson was correct, the beam would go straight through the gold foil. Most of the beams went through the foil, but a few were deflected. Rutherford presented his own physical model for subatomic structure as an interpretation for the unexpected experimental results. In it, the atom is made up of a central charge surrounded by a cloud of orbiting electrons. In this May 1911 paper, Rutherford only commits himself to a small central region of very high positive or negative charge in the atom. For concreteness, consider the passage of a high-speed alpha particle through an atom having a positive central charge Ne, and surrounded by a compensating charge of N electrons. From purely energetic considerations of how far particles of known speed would be able to penetrate toward a central charge of 100 E, Rutherford was able to calculate that the radius of his gold central charge would need to be less than 3.4 x 10 minus 14 meters. This was in a gold atom known to be 10 minus 10 meters or so in radius, a very surprising finding as it implied a strong central charge less than one three thousandth of the diameter of the atom. The Rutherford model served to concentrate a great deal of the atom's charge and mass to a very small core, but didn't attribute any structure to the remaining electrons and remaining atomic mass. It did mention the atomic model of Hantero Nagaoka, in which the electrons are arranged in one or more rings with the specific metaphorical structure of the stable rings of Saturn. The plum pudding model of J.J. Thomson also had rings of orbiting electrons. Jean-Baptiste Perard claimed in his Nobel lecture that he was the first one to suggest the model in his paper dated 1901. The Rutherford paper suggested that the central charge of an atom might be proportional to its atomic mass in hydrogen mass units U. For gold, this mass number is 197 and was therefore modeled by Rutherford to be possibly 196 U. However, Rutherford did not attempt to make the direct connection of central charge to atomic number, since gold's atomic number was 79, and Rutherford had modeled the charge to be about plus 100 units. Thus, Rutherford did not formally suggest the two numbers might be exactly the same. A month after Rutherford's paper appeared, the proposal regarding the exact identity of atomic number and nuclear charge was made by Antonius van den Broek, and later confirmed experimentally within two years by Henri Mosley. Key Points the atom's electron cloud does not influence alpha particle scattering. Much of an atom's positive charge is concentrated in a relatively tiny volume at the center of the atom, known today as the nucleus. The magnitude of this charge is proportional to the atom's atomic mass. The remaining mass is now known to be mostly attributed to neutrons. This concentrated central mass and charge is responsible for deflecting both alpha and beta particles. The mass of heavy atoms such as gold is mostly concentrated in the central charge region, since calculations show it is not deflected or moved by the high-speed alpha particles, which have very high momentum in comparison to electrons but not with regard to a heavy atom as a whole. The atom itself is about 100,000 times the diameter of the nucleus. 
This could be related to putting an apple in the middle of a football field. Contribution to modern science After Rutherford's discovery, scientists started to realize that the atom is not ultimately a single particle, but is made up of far smaller subatomic particles. Subsequent research determined the exact atomic structure which led to Rutherford's gold foil experiment. Scientists eventually discovered that atoms have a positively charged nucleus in the center, with a radius of about 1.2 x 10 minus 15 meters x, atomic mass number, one-third. Electrons were found to be even smaller. Later, scientists found the expected number of electrons in an atom by using X-rays. When an X-ray passes through an atom, some of it is scattered while the rest passes through the atom. Since the X-ray loses its intensity primarily due to scattering at electrons, by noting the rate of decrease in X-ray intensity, the number of electrons contained in an atom can be accurately estimated. Symbolism See also Bohr model, which applies just as well to the section below. Rutherford's model deferred to the idea of many electrons in rings, pin Nagaoka. However, once Niels Bohr modified this view into a picture of just a few planet-like electrons for light atoms, the Rutherford-Bohr model caught the imagination of the public. It has since continually been used as a symbol for atoms and even for atomic energy. Examples of its use over the past century include the logo of the United States Atomic Energy Commission, which was in part responsible for its later usage in relation to nuclear fission technology in particular, the flag of the International Atomic Energy Agency as a Rutherford atom, enclosed in olive branches, the U.S. minor league baseball Albuquerque isotope logo is a Rutherford atom, with the electron orbits forming an A. A similar symbol, the atomic world was chosen as the symbol for the American atheists, and has come to be used as a symbol of atheism in general. The Unicode miscellaneous symbols code point U plus 269B uses a Rutherford atom. On maps, it is generally used to indicate a nuclear power installation.